additional use permit. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Uh, Ms. Mara Adams is requesting a CUP for a personal service shop in RP zoning. Such a property consists of about 0.4 acres located at 2916 North Oak Street. Um, this is about 400 feet south of Smith Bar Drive in the Five Point Shopping Center. As you see on the zoning map, um, there's sort of three different land use patterns going on here. The west side of North Oak Street, once upon a time, and by that I mean about 40 years ago, had single family homes just like the neighborhood to the west. However, many years ago, there was a beginning of a trend that has now pretty much finished, which is to convert those homes to professional offices. The subject property is one of those. There's currently a newly constructed offices on there that was built a couple years ago, 4,333 square feet. Um, most of it, three fourths of it, is occupied by the Bush Wealth Management um, Office. Um, however, little known to the rest of us, there were two <coughs> small tenant spaces there. Uh, Bush Wealth is in Suite B, but there's Suite A and Suite C. Uh, they're each about 600 square feet, they're very tiny. Uh, the applicant is proposing to occupy Suite A, uh, which is about one eighth of the building um, for a personal service shop. The only concern that staff had with this property is the existing parking. It is built to a professional office standard only. There is not enough parking there to accommodate medical offices or any type of retail or commercial use. Sometimes personal service shops, such as a beauty salon, um, have a fair amount of traffic. Um, however, with the applicant's case, they are wanting to seek um, approval for their clients, which will be appointment only. And it's also just two operators, a very small, low-key operation. Um, so with that in mind, we don't see them adding to the parking demand much at all. Um, looking at the site, there are several parking spaces routinely available there. So we think they can accommodate. But we did not want to put forward approval that was blanket, that would allow any personal service shop. But in this case, the applicant's use is certainly fine. Uh, also keeping in mind Suite C is still an unknown quantity, even though it is small. Um, so with that, staff is recommending approval of this after finding consistent with the comprehensive plan and our conditional use review criteria, which are there in your packet. Um, some of the slides, here's the area which shows the parking lot um, and the site plan. And I've highlighted the um, southeastern corner of the building, which is Suite A. And then moving on further, there's the, the subject building. As you can see, lots of parking currently available, um, but lots of room as well, and then the small parking area in the rear. Um, some of the uh, photos of properties around it, you see some of the other offices that are nearby along the west side of Oak Street, and then directly to the east is a bank, and that's when you're getting into the commercial zoning and the more intensive uses along the paths. But we're recommending approval subject to two conditions. Number one, Approval shall be granted in the name of the applicant only. As one of the licensees for a personal service shop in the form of a waxing salon. You shall not occupy more than 600 square feet of the existing building. Number two, conditional use approval shall expire for two years from the date of approval if no business license for the approved use has been requested by that date. I'd be glad to answer any questions you may have. We have questions for staff. Please raise your right hand. All those voting against, and it is unanimous. 